Get out your marshmallows and your Bunsen burners. It's time now to imagine it. No, it's not an episode of Breaking Bad, but we have some special gear with Carl. He's the chief scientist at the Imagination Station, already roasting a marshmallow. Go ahead. Go ahead and Why am I wearing this get up? Okay. Oh. Perfect, you jumped right to the end stage. Oh. <laughs> That's called carbonization. Pop okay. it right back in there, burn, gotcha. that, burn that guy. Just light it up. Oh, all right, okay. there it goes. This is, this is probably not what you want to do with your marshmallow because like I said, that Boom. is going right to the carbonizing stage and right just let it hit table. the table, That's yeah. fine. Now, if you do it a little bit more subtly, you can actually do something called the Maillard reaction where we're actually allowing some of the uh, compounds inside the marshmallow here, the sugars and the amino acids are combining and they're creating hundreds and hundreds of flavorful and smelly compounds, right? It smells that, delicious. That wonderful smell of the marshmallow. Now, oh, again, too close. <laughs> We're going to carbonization. Kindle point also, or not quite? Well, I just got it too close to the flame. Ah. I wasn't being careful <laughs> enough, okay? So let's, let's push these out of the way, and let's just drop that right on the table. It'll go out. All right, let's, let's move away from that, and we're gonna head straight towards sugar. Okay, and we're going to talk about taking away those amino acids that were in there that caused that reaction that created all the flavorful compounds. I've got concentrated sulfuric acid here. This Ooh. is 18 molar. It's very concentrated. Wow. What we're going to do is we're going to do a reaction between that and this sucrose, or this sugar. Okay. So go ahead, Tony. Just go ahead and pour that in. All right, and that is why I'm wearing these heavy-duty gloves. Pour it all in. We were saying before, it's no laughing matter. This is the joker acid, yes. but it is not funny. This is very now, serious. What I want you to watch, though, is the color change. So I'm going to mix this up a little bit. And we are actually dehydrating the sugar. It's gonna start, go from that white color to more of a caramely looking color. Yeah. We're actually breaking down the sucrose, releasing some water, and this is an exothermic reaction, so it's gonna start to heat up. And that heat is gonna allow it to actually react a little bit quicker. At some point, it'll get so hot, it'll generate steam, and remember how I was talking about we went right to the carbon point right there? Yeah. That's gonna happen inside this little flask. Just by adding acid to sugar. It's dehydrating, breaking down that carbohydrate. Now, another way we could do this that might speed the process up is instead of using granulated sugar, we can use a fine powder of sugar. Okay. More surface area. The reaction should proceed a lot quicker. So I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna pour our acid in, get it mixed up, and you can see that color change has happened already. In fact, yeah. It's even turning black. This one over here could take several minutes. I'm hoping the greater surface area here with the powdered sugar is gonna allow this reaction to happen a lot quicker. Again, we're breaking down that sucrose, exothermic reaction, so we're generating heat. We're taking the water away, Whoa, and all that's gonna be left over is the carbon from the sucrose. That's like one now, of those snakes, the fireworks step, step, snakes. Yeah, step back, because see, what's oh. happening there, that, that <laughs> steam coming out too might have a little sulfuric acid in it as I well. I see and some sulfur dioxide. We want to get that really... Thanks now, for telling look me. at the other one. The other one is actually going now as well. <laughs> Took a little bit longer because of the larger granule size, but we're doing the same sort of thing. We're breaking down that carbohydrate into just pure carbon, and we're releasing steam and water. That so we're wild. dehydrating the sugar. It's really is kind this of a, like an ashen type of material that's yeah, coming out yeah. of there? It's, it's, it's very porous. It's mm -hmm. pure carbon. Now, it's, the acid itself doesn't really break down, so the acid is still inside that porous column of stuff. Um, but it's just like when you burn your marshmallow too hot. Yeah. You actually carbonized it. So it's, it's a really nice vivid demonstration of what happens <laughs> when you push something a little bit too far um, and break that sucrose <laughs> down, create carbon. There you go. And that one's coming out <laughs> with a stick in its head. Yeah, that's, but, hey, that's helping stabilize. That's, I left that in there on purpose. That's pretty wild. Well, hey, if you want to come on down and see an experiment like this, not one you can try at home, you can observe it here at the Imagination Station, which is located downtown, One Discovery Way, the big blue building. If you bring a kid and you live in Lucas County, on Saturdays, that kid gets in free with a paid adult admission. Hey, Carl, this has been fascinating. What have we learned today? You can do this at home, not this exact version. Okay. Take some sugar, yeah. put it in an oven, 300 degrees, three to four hours. The sugar will start to caramelize. It'll do a physical and chemical change. It'll still be sugar. It's not going to melt, but it'll have a rich caramel taste to it. So oh. it's a cool thing you can do in your oven at home. Just a plate of sugar, 300 degrees, no higher, three, four, five hours. See how far you can take it. All right. And it's, that's it's, it's cool. how you imagine it.